Hello guys. We are going to talk about an author that we all like because we like his first novel and that is Lord of the Flies. Yes, William Golding. Born in 1911, he was one of the most important post-war novelists. William Golding wrote about the evil violence and corruption in post war society guys that was a major theme in many post war novelists and novels william golding won nobel prize that was in 1983 in all his novels he showed the power of man to destroy what is good and his style is realistic very disturbing and shocking also he employs christian symbolism and also talks about primitive societies a lot egyptian society neanderthals etc so people human beings as cruel selfish you know that is how he depicted society in his novels golding came to prominence with his lord of the flies published in 1954 you must think oh very famous novel he must have got it published very easily it got famous or a not so easily because it was rejected by oh my god 21 publishers because it showed little children as killing each other and getting very evil you know probably that this is a novel about a group of boys british boys they are in a plane crash they get stranded on a tropical island they try to survive on the island hmm very soon they start fighting each other and they start getting scared of some beast on the island is there a beast on the island well there is a parachutist who fell from the sky and who got killed and he got lodged in the mountains in the trees but that is not the beast the beast is actually themselves there is the beast within you there is evil within human beings that is what we are fighting that beast within themselves that is what they are fighting and uh, Let me tell you more about this novel. Very great novel, very interesting novel. Uh the title by the way, Lord of the Flies, refers to the head of a pig that the boys killed the pig and they put the head of the pig on a stake and it attracted flies. It started to stink obviously and uh, this came to be called Lord of the Flies. So the setting of Lord of the Flies is the Second World War. A war plane crashes on a tropical island and some British school boys are stranded there without adult supervision. The boy Ralph comes on shore meets another boy whose name we don't know he is called Piggy and then they get a conch they blow the conch and get together all the other boys together now ralph becomes the leader he is like a representative of democracy piggy represents rationality there's another boy jack who is the head of a choir group he represents physicality and power slowly the boys start doing things that are necessary in such as getting fruits from trees and eating them and um, building shelters a very important task that they have is to build a fire to keep a fire blazing so that they will be rescued the smoke signal will attract ships but the boys are lazy to do it and the fire dies out in between Meanwhile the boys start getting scared at night they feel like a beast is going to hunt, hunt them and soon Jack and Ralph start fighting 
Jack separates his group from Ralph's group. Jack is the hunter. He kills a pig. He has meat. The other boys all join Jack except for Sam and Eric twins and Piggy and Simon. Simon is like a visionary and he finds out that there is no beast on the island. There is only a parachutist dead in the mountains. He comes running to tell the boys one evening and the boys mistakenly think this is the beast and they kill Simon unknowingly. That is the first death. After that, Jack's friend Roger deliberately kills Piggy. He tips a rock over Piggy and kills him. And then they hunt Ralph, going to kill him, they were. That is when a naval officer lands on the shore and they are rescued. All along, we could hear war planes droning above. And suddenly, we come to the realization, if this is what boys can do, how bad it would be. The Second World War, the adult world, the adult warfare, how bad it is, how terrible. So the novel brings us to a shocking awareness of the cruelties of humanity, of the terrible reality of war. This is Lord of the Flies. And then there are other important novels like The Inheritors. It's a very interesting story. The earliest of the Homo sapiens, that means man, meets the last of the Neanderthals. And the Homo sapiens obviously win. They destroy the Neanderthals. The Homo sapiens are technically more advanced, but they are afraid. They are people who are acting based on fear. It is a horrible realization that this novel gives of what evil human beings are capable of. The next important novel is Pincher Martin from 1956. Pincher Martin is a story of Christopher Martin, whose nickname is Pincher. He's a naval officer. He's torpedoed and he falls in the ocean. He is swimming in the ocean, struggling to survive, clinging to his sanity. And at the end, he dies. And we realize that what we saw was uh, a delusion. He, he had a delusion that he is surviving. But we finally realized that that he survived was a delusion just before he died. So he actually died, but he dies thinking he has survived. Then there is free fall. Free fall is set in a solitary confinement, a prisoner in a solitary con confinement. Then there are novels like The Spire, The Pyramid, The Scorpion God, Darkness Visible. In my classes, paid classes, I usually teach my students how to remember this. One funny uh, method I teach them. You are also my students, I will teach you also. First, Lord of the Flies, you have to remember. Then, Inheritors. Then, Pincher Martin, I say. Pinching. When somebody pinches you, you are standing on top of something and somebody pinches you, what happens? Free fall happens. <laughs> I told you, I warned you, very silly code. But, useful to remember. Pincher Martin. Then, free fall. And when you think of fall, you should remember the spire is the story of a spire falling. The collapse of a spire is the story of the spire. So after free fall, the spire, 
When you think of the spire, you think of the pyramid. So, Lord of the Flies, the Inheritors, Pincher Martin, Free Fall, Spire, the Pyramid. When you think of the pyramid, you think of Egypt. And then you think of a book where he wrote three works. One set in Rome, one set in Egypt, one set in Africa. Three novellas. That is the novel Scorpion God. When you think of the pyramid, tri uh, triangle. When you think of the pyramid, you think of three novellas and Egypt. The scorpion god. The scorpion stings in what? In darkness. The scorpion, remember night of the scorpion? The scorpion stings when there is darkness and you step on the scorpion. Tang! Oh! Remember, darkness visible next. So, Lord of the Flies, the Inheritors, Pincher Martin, Free Fall, Spire, Pyramid, Scorpion God, darkness visible. Getting me? I am just telling you that it is not difficult to remember everything. Everything you should remember in a fun way, creative way. Don't tax your brain. Give it some ease. Did you understand? After darkness, in darkness, visible, what is happening? There is Blitzkrieg. Blitzkrieg was the bombing of London, explosion, fire. Darkness visible is set during the Blitzkrieg in London during the Second World War. Fire. In fire, what happens? Paper will burn. So the next novel is The Paper Men. Darkness visible is about Blitzkrieg, then Paper Men. And what is Paper Men about? It is about an author and his biographer. Both are writers. Author and biographer, Paper Men. You are thinking, where is this story going? This is so stupid, this code. Hello, hello, Kalyani Vallad, where are you going with this, with this story? End it, end it, we are bored, you are thinking, nah. That is why Will, uh, William Golding then wrote, to the ends of the earth trilogy. Story is ending, okay? To the ends of the earth trilogy. It is also called the Sea Trilogy. It is a post-apocalyptic trilogy, dystopian. Koine, don't worry. Story is ending. To the ends of the earth the trilogy. And there is one more novel he wrote after that. The Double Tongue. Oh, it is set in ancient Greece. Double Tongue is the prophetess. You know, Delphic Oracle prophet. So, these are the novels by Golding. He has also written a brass, The Brass Butterfly, a play. Now, it is not enough to just remember the titles. You should know something more about them, right? I will tell you about these novels. Wait. First, let us remember the titles in our fun way. Lord of the Flies, first novel. The Inheritors, you should remember. Pincher Martin. Free Fall. Spire. Pyramid. Scorpion God. And then scorpion stings in darkness visible. In darkness, Blitzkrieg was there. What burns? Paper men. Where is the story going? To the ends of the earth the trilogy. After that, double tongue. Okay? Now, you know about Lord of the Flies. You know about Inheritors. You know about Pincher Martin. Christopher Martin is swimming and trying to escape. Spire is a story of a huge spire on a medieval cathedral. It is collapsing and it symbolizes spiritual aspiration and vanity. The pyramid, I told you, three interlinked stories. There also. Scorpion God also three stories. In Scorpion God, one story is set in Africa, one in Rome, one in Egypt. Darkness visible. Title is taken from Paradise Lost. Darkness visible. The title is taken from Paradise Lost. Central themes are 
clashing of good and evil. There is an apocalyptic fire, blitzkrieg during the Second World War. And the story is set in the time of blitzkrieg. Paper Men is about an alcoholic writer called Wilfred and his biographer, an American scholar. To the Ends of the Earth trilogy has three novels, Rites of Passage, Close Quarters and Fire Down Below. I am reading from the Encyclopedia Volume 3. Rites of Passage got Booker Prize. And uh, it is set on a ship in the 19th century bound for Australia. Will you remember guys? And the last novel is The Double Tongue about a prophetess. And then we have the play The Brass Butterfly which is actually the reworking of another work called Envoy Extraordinary. Now William Golding wrote realistic novels about the post-war world, post-war Europe and man's potential for evil. You know, many writers during this time wrote about evil like this. You can do research on topics like this. The treatment of evil in the novelists of the 1950s and 60s. You can talk about the um, context, the socio-political context, how they treated evil, whether it had biblical references or not, what are the differences in the treatment? How can you relate it to other theories? So on and so forth. When you study guys, you should try to find a cross connection between different writers. Identify common themes in writers. And then you can develop a topic out of it. You don't actually start with a topic for research. You start by reading different authors. You read one author who, is very, who seems very interesting to you. And then find out other authors who are similar to this author. Did you get me? You can find out themes that are similar, treatment that is similar. And once you find similarities, then it is easy to find the uh, topic for research. So you should first and foremost find an area. In 10 p.m. live, I had done one five-day course on research areas. And after that, once you find an area, you can identify an author and read about that author. And then you can identify common themes, fi find similar authors. Then you can find the topic. I am saying this because many of you find it difficult to find the research topics, isn't it? If you are unable to find a research topic, that only shows you need more maturity reading. Actual reading is what will give you ideas. Okay, so I hope you have been watching all the videos of Everyday at 6 Videopedia. This is only a, an introduction. Everyday at 6 Videopedia is not everything. It is the beginning of your studies. You should either do self-learning on your own or you should read extra and uh, uh, attend courses, etc. Whatever you do, you should cover all the major authors and works in detail. And make your own notes, revise regularly. That is very important. And uh, build a perspective. Your own perspective is very important. So that's all about uh, William Golding. I hope you will read Lord of the Flies. It's a small book and very easy to read book. Original reading of books is very, very important. Because what you understand in one reading of an original text, you will not get even if you spend months studying the summary. You will remember easily, you will know about the style and characters only if you read the original text. At least make it a point to read a, a one or two chapters or even pages. Okay? So don't avoid that. Thank you very much. Happy reading. Please. Join me for the upcoming videos also where I will be talking about other authors of the postmodern period in Britain. Okay guys, until then, bye bye.